Boop. Scratching the beard. <laughs> yo, 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 Karla Freta, my name is Ardolur, and today I'm going to show you how you can create your own LUT, but just, you know, using a Premiere Pro. All right, so welcome to Premiere Pro. Now, first thing to do, head over to color and you should see Lumetri color here. If you don't see it for some reason, go to Windows and bah, Lumetri color, okay? Then you have Lumetri color here because that's where we color grade, you know? The first thing you can do is to go to basic correction and we need to click the clip here and boom, you have a bunch of different things here. Now, if you're familiar to Lightroom, you know how this, if not, I'm gonna do this you know, a little bit fast. So <laughs> it's very simple, okay? So here you can mess with the white balance. Do you want it to be cooler or a little bit warmer? And here's the tint, more magenta or more green. Very, very simple. If you place click here, you can find the white point, like let's say here, and Premiere is automatically gonna make the point that you clicked become the white point, okay? But then you have the exposure and everything, like every slider here, if you drag it to the right, you increase it. If you drag it to the uh, left, you decrease it, okay? Now for this one, I would actually want to make this, let me see, one point. Or actually make, make this a little bit warmer and then I would add contrast. Let's add 35, bunch of contrast here. And I would probably drop down the highlights just a tiny bit. This, this is a nice starting point. And to compensate for dropping down highlights, let's pump up the whites like so. I think this looks nice. Next is the creativity. The create, cre no creativity, the creative. The creative tab is really where you add your lots. Uh, but we are going to create one, so we're not going to do it. But here you would add your LUTs and mess with intensity. I'll show you more how this works in a second once we created the LUT. But here we can do a little bit. It's like I like to have vibrance and let's add up the saturation a little bit so we have get a little bit colored in my face. And even let's put a little bit of fade. I think that looks pretty nice. And let's add this up a little bit more. So boom, we have it like this. Next is the curves. Recently I created a full in-depth tutorial on the curves. I link it up here so you don't we don't have to have this video you know become endlessly long i encourage you to go look at it because i cover every single thing that you see here in detail so from now on i assume that you know what everything here is okay because you watched the course not course the video all right Ding. i wish there would be a blinking thing here like Ding. <laughs> enough of the nonsense back to the video so here is the curves let's add a little contrast so we add a bunch of nodes here like so even i would like to decrease the blue so we decrease the blue of them here and let's up the saturation of my face like so. I think this looks good. I would not like to change the hue of anything. I think this looks nice. And let's create a little thing here like so. I think this is awesome. Again, if you want to know everything that I did, watch the video that I just linked, okay? Then you can go to color wheels here. This is very nice. So basically what you have here is that you have color wheels. So you have all the colors here and you have mid-tones, highlights, and shadows. And you can push whatever color you want into these areas with highlights, shadows, and colors. It's a lot of control. I really much like this. So the mid-tones, that's usually where the skin tone sits. So we take the mid-tones and if we add them up, like you can put green if you want, but that, I mean, that's this... Uh, not it's not nice okay if you did any mistake you can just double tap okay boom we back to normal so usually it's nice to have the mid skin tone somewhere around where your normal skin tone is which is around the orange side so let's just place it just a little bit like so and you don't even have to do this but let me see do it again just a tiny bit like so i think this looks nice highlights i would like to add a tiny bit of blues into the highlights like so and shadows you can create whatever you like sometimes if i'm doing like a vintage thing i add a little bit of orange into the shadows but let's do pick a little bit of blue into the shadows like this just a tiny bit and then mid-tones up a little bit thing now you have one more slider you can see here this is basically making it darker or brighter so if you drag this slider up like so you're making the mid-tones brighter and dragging it down you're making them darker okay so for shadows instance, I would like to have a little bit more shadows like so. I would really like to drag the mid-tones tiny bit up to get me to pop a little bit. And the highlights could, let me see what is more nice. Highlights actually down just a tiny bit. And you can see before and after, this looks nice. Now HSL secondary, I don't really touch it that much. So I'm not gonna like do that here. And vignette, if you like to have vignette, you can add it too. So basically just dragging down and you get that. Whoo, I think I don't really use it that much in video, but sometimes for these videos, I use it just a tiny bit to narrow in on them on my, me, my person. Here we can add like a tiny bit more. I would maybe drop down this to normal here again and add the contrast just a tiny bit and up with the whites like so. This is a quick grade, <laughs> nothing too spectacular, but before and after, and you can see there's a huge 
difference. We've already, like, this color grid is nice. So once you're happy with this and you found a point where you think like, okay, this color is banging. I want to save this and create my own LUT. Very simple. You see up here by Lumetri Color, you have three lines. Click that and you get the export to cube. Export to Luck and cube, these are both LUTs. The difference is that they open differently in different softwares. I only work with cube and that's like, I highly recommend that you do it. So cube files, that's the way to go, okay? So click cube, boom. No, not save preset, sorry, it's a boom here and click to cube. Now we can just save it to the desktop. Let's just name it yeah, here, test LUT, have it like this, click save, okay? So a few more things that is nice to know. So we, let's delete the look. So basically what you can do now is once you go, you have the LUT, you create a look that you like, you can basically now go to creative, boom, creative here, browse, find the test LUT that is right here, and boom, it's already on. And this is why we use LUTs, because it saves a bunch of time. All the things that we did, we don't have to do it. We just have a look, boom, put it on, awesome. What you can do now is you can mess with the intensity, take it down or up more, up to you. And you can add a few extra things if you like to have more vibration and whatnot. Another thing that's also super cool with LUTs is let's like, let's imagine that these here are a few different clips. So we have like chops here, chops here, chops here. Now, instead of coloring this clip, this clip, this clip, what you can do is this, you go here, create an adjustment layer, click down here, new item, boom, boom, adjustment layer, adjustment layer, okay. And then we take the adjustment layer, drag it on and drag it over everything. <laughs> if you have no idea what the adjustment layer is, it's basically uh, everything, every effect that you apply to the layer here is gonna affect the clips below. So it's super nice for LUTs, for instance, because now you can just click here and then you go to creative, look, find the LUT, boom, click it on and it's affected the all these different clips. Super, super simple. So that's it for me today. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to ask in comments down below. If this wasn't clear enough, let me know. I'll try to make it more clear or just rewind and, you know, watch it again. Anyways, if you could smack that like button for me, it really helped me out. Consider subscribing. I create a bunch of, bunch of, bunch of videos and I'll catch you guys in the next video mode. Peace.